Oh, and welcome to the 87 Legends here at Homestead. This is, I believe, the first time I've ever done this combo before. And even better news, I have gotten zero practice. The reason I uh, last minute did this is because Nick is here. Uh, he announced he would be doing this race at the time slot, and I just barely made it after finishing Arca at Auto Club. And uh, I wanted to participate, but have not gotten very many laps. Uh, I did like one lap of the practice in session, and that's all I've got. So we are going to be very, very slow probably. But sometimes that works out in the 87s. Sometimes it's all about just saving those tires, so who knows? Maybe it'll be all right. More likely, though, this is going to go very poorly. As you can see, I just that was a terrible approach to that corner. These things you have to slow down so much, it is absurd. Even with all the banking this place has, it feels like it just does not want to slow down and turn. It's pretty crazy, so... We're going to stay out here until they kick us out. That was a and hopefully get some practice in. Hopefully hit some apron, as uh, is the right way to do things. Let's see, we're P9, P10, we're probably one of the slowest out here, if not the slowest. It's not great. <laughs> But we'll go tire saving approach. New fastest lap for See Russell. what happens. The guy behind has just done a 36.5. Tenth position. You're now All right. I flash. can't believe how little this thing wants to turn. It just feels like the banking is just visual only. <laughs> I guess we're going pretty fast. You know, by the time we get to the corner. I guess. It's just, it's does not want to turn, man. I don't know. I guess I'm overdriving it. And then you get to the exit, and it feels like, man, why are you going so slow? We easily could have uh, driven through faster than that. So, I don't know. I just don't know. What happens if I try to take the high line? Oh, it gets loose. Okay. That's good to know, actually. I'm really glad I tried that, because... I'm pushing hard in the race on the outside or something. I didn't know that loose was coming. That could be a source of danger, so I guess I'm glad I noticed that. Well, I guess we'll call that good. 35.6 is the pull time. That is much faster than what we were able to do. We are in a strength of field 3.5k, so. All right, well, where did Nick end up? He is right there with us. He's going to be right behind us, actually. I hope I don't do something stupid right in front of him. I'm actually going to move this down a little bit more, I think. 49. I don't know. Should I go all the way down? I don't want to do anything too drastic. So we will not go too crazy with it. That's the end of the session. Yeah, the car really wants to hit the wall. Late run in Arca. 
it'll just four tire slide right up into it if you take the low line and then it'll just it'll just uh, drag the wall sometimes if you try to enter high too so let's uh, avoid the wall here in the 87s as well don't think we're gonna finish second I'm gonna say that right now do I need to pit this race? We need to pit this race, yes. According to that, yes. We're just going to go long run. Yeah. Because you really don't want to end up lap down in this series. Where do you break for pit entry if you ever have a green flag pit stop? Uh oh, that sounds like something we should have practiced in <laughs> green flag pit stops. Because I did not practice that. We're just going to be really slow if we have to do green flag pit stop, I guess sure all my settings are correct. Good luck, everybody. Hopefully you try and keep this one clean. Yeah, I would love a clean race. I'm, I'm okay with a clean race, even if we finish in the back or something. Just have ourselves a fun time. We didn't get the practice, so I can't expect great results. And if they happen anyway, hey, that's a pretty cool surprise. Because I certainly would be surprised. Because it's one thing to uh, have not been able to practice before the race. It's another thing uh, to have literally never done this combo before. Atlanta Motor Speedway was in this configuration in 1987. Is that correct? I think it was a rectangle back in 1987. Did it even... I mean, the homestead was traveled after Atlanta. Did it even exist in 1987? Did this place even exist? Yeah, I don't think it. I don't think it existed yet. Eighty laps. The track temp is one nineteen. The air temp is seventy-eight. I thought Homestead was early two thousand, and it was supposed to be a mini Indy. Follow car number eighteen. Yeah, they did a good job of that. I would probably be faster if I did drive in a swamp. One left to green. Line up on the inside. Pit road is closed. Save some fuel. Hey, we get to take the extra low line in one and two here. Maybe this is the fast line around the track. Has anyone tried it? <laughs> Just drive down here. Ah, oh, boy. I'm nervous. I'm afraid I'm going to get tight and drift up into somebody, to be completely truthful. Same gear. Just checking. About to go green. Got some Stay space focused. between the 21 or the 20. I can't tell what number that is. 21, maybe. Some space between guys up there. Okay, go to the dock. Time to do your job. Green, 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 green. green. Outside. Still there. Easy. Clear outside if you want it. All right. Down early. Outside. Stay low. Not putting anyone three wide or anything. Keep low. Clear up top. Car outside. You're on the bottom. I did not want to do that. Hold your line. Car outside. Two wide. Caution. Did not want to be three wide there. I don't know what happened, but... I don't know what happened. What do we have to let the 13 by? Okay, guess we don't anymore? Well, that sucks. Get 
Jadstar, 22 car. It's just taking my line, man, and the, the guy was going up the track. Pit road's open. I don't know. Maybe I should have just waited, but I felt like I was going to get run over if I just sat behind him forever. I wasn't even really trying to pass. Like I said, I was just taking my line, trying to be easy on the tires, and ended up going through the corner faster than he did. Hopefully not too many people were taken out by that. It's fine, you got loads. No, we don't. Have loads of fuel, that's a bunch of nonsense. I'll save fuel though. Left us 22 carbide. You had the position when the yellow flag came out. We'll have to go look at look back at that. Maybe I was too aggressive by accident. I know I kept my line down at the bottom. Not a great start, unfortunately. So I've only got a 2x, despite contact. And I do think the guy, like, turn slid into me. There was already contact of some sort somehow. I don't know what initiated it. Of course, yellow. Pits are open. Like I said, we'll look at it later. P10 right now. So we gained some spots. One to go, next time by. Okay, Colton, get ready. Race will resume at the end of this lap. Everybody's all over the track. I want to save as much fuel as possible, so I'm going to have to stay low still. Hopefully we don't get too bad of an accordion though, because people are pretty spread apart right now. Single file restart. And there was an accordion behind us. Nothing I can do about that. We're going. Most people Green, here are not. You're in the top ten. It's fine though. I don't need to be aggressive. I still don't want to be aggressive despite what kind of happened by accident. Car outside. Keep low. Stay low. What is that 21 doing? They're all over the place. Still there, hold your line. Outside, clear. Car outside. Some guys are entering much, much harder. It's pretty wide up ahead. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. That 21's really swervy. He's making me nervous. Now somebody's sideways, I think it was the 21. Keep low. It's looking at my turn in. Oh my god. What are we doing? I'm just trying to live right now, man. Trying to live my life. You're on the bottom, three wide. Car outside, two wide. Stay low. I literally just want to take the bottom line and save tires. These guys are just all over the place. Outside. 
clear high. Car outside. Stay low, there is a car on the high side. Still there. Lots of side by side off the start here. Stay low. Oh my god, where is he going? Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Oh, that's Alan. He's in our league. I didn't realize it was him. He just uh, overdrove it, I guess. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Still there. Hold your line. Clear outside if you want it. Just gonna keep taking this low line, let the brakes do the turning for us. I feel like it's okay. I'm not turning the steering wheel all that much. Still there, hold your line. Keep low. Clear up top. Wilson is now in the lead. One's driving in pretty hard. turning and hitting the guy on the straightaway. I would really like to get away from all these guys, to be honest. I no idea where the 17 is trying to go. Three wide again. I really do not want to be racing this hard. I am just trying to save tires, guys. Please call me now. I do not want to be here right now. Behind. Jesus. This is so scary for no reason. Sixth place. You've just done a 37.4. I've drove that a little bit, but we're okay. The gap in front is now 1.4 seconds. Finally getting some room. That's very nice. I think we've done better on our tires than a couple of those guys. That was a 37.2. Whoa! It's a 12, that's Chad. There's so many people in here. I, I didn't really get to look at the roster so long. There's so many people I recognize. Of course, because Nick announced he would be racing this. The yellow flag is out. They want you in single file. Well, it's time to pit because. Pace cars out. Line up single file. Oh wow! Look at the tires. That's interesting. We're under caution. I'm gonna take two. By the way, because you can do that in this series, and I don't feel like we're that loose. We should be able to get enough fuel to go to the end, I think. Four point five gallons. How did that happen? Was that my fault or what? Somehow we ended up P6 right now. I, I really don't know how that happened. Just so much craziness happening h higher up the track. Pits are going into three. Road's open. Four course yellow. Pits are open. Alex has to leave, unfortunately. He uh, must have been in something. Hopefully two tires gets us some more rotation, even. I think we might need it. The leader, Wilson, is pitting. Pit lane speed limit is 50 miles per hour. Pit box in. Stop again. in. Five. Three. Two. One. Right here. That was a weird entry, but I guess we're okay. The tires are, like, equal on both sides, which is kind of weird me out. I'm worried this might be a mistake. Because of that. All clear. Punch it. You only have one right set of tires remaining. Not quite out in front of the 21. Did, did Nick take no tires? 
You might have taken no tires. That could be smart. Zero point five gallons. Zero point five according to this. He's gonna have some more tires later in this race. I'm planning for the possibility of going to the end, so that's why I kind of chose tires right now. We didn't use them all that much though, so. Hey, very interesting. We'll have all kinds of different strategies going on. Imagine if there's some guys that might have even stayed out. I don't know. Yeah, Nick didn't even come in. According to Race Lab, he didn't even come in. He stayed out. Interesting. So he's definitely assuming there's going to be more cautions. We are P6. We actually come out in the same spot with our two tires. Oddly enough. Just from guys who did not pit, I guess. wonder if the 21 took fuel only. For him to get out ahead of us. I did have a bit of a weird entry, but I don't feel like we lost that much time. Pits are open. All kinds of different strategies mixed up here. Could make this very interesting. To make sure I don't spin it or anything as well. So I'm looking at those those tire readings, like I said, and that's very interesting that they're basically equal. From lefts and rights, so you don't see that very often. One left to green. You're on the outside We're going this green time. Next time right. We think you're okay for fuel, but there's not much to spare. Not much to spare. Good to know. Oh, Nick came in, didn't he? Decided to go to the back because he probably felt like he was going to get run over otherwise. I swear I just saw him in front of us a second ago. So I, maybe that happened that I just didn't realize. Wish this 21 would catch up. There we go. That's better. Get ready. Going green. Eight car is in. Green, 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 green. Car outside. Still there. Hmm. Just watching where he is. Go low. Feels like it's got more turn. I like it. Everybody up ahead has not taken any, uh, anything. No fuel, nothing. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. Outside, clear. Is this gonna work out? I don't know. You're now in third. P3. Fastest lap for Spicer, 36.4. That's your fastest lap today. Fucking serious, dude. 
Caution? Yeah, he always drives like that. He didn't just hit outside. Still there. Had to make sure we get this thing turned. Someone on our outside. Keep low. Go low. The next car's the leader. Much more run off with our tires. Outside if you want it. You're in second position right now. Outside. Still there. Go low. Keep low. Ooh, this is tricky. Alright. Well, we lead a lap. It's nice. Okay, you are the leader. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Three wide. Outside. Two wide. Don't like it. You're on the bottom. Three wide. Don't like it. Outside. Two wide. Clear up top. I'll leave a lane up Outside. here. Keep low. Clear high. No idea what this guy's tire situation is. He came into the pits. But did he take tires? Did he take two? None? No idea. Seems fast enough he probably took at least two. Now we really hope this goes green to the end. 1.8 gallons. 1.8 gallons. Okay, that's interesting. I thought we were going to be good on fuel now. Is that not the case? 1.9 gallons. 59. What are we doing on fuel? I don't think the calculator knows what we're doing. I was under the impression we were going to be good on fuel now. I'm really liking these two tires, though. It feels like I'm getting a ton of rotation. That was sorely missed early on. Overdrove that a little bit. The number one behind us. Also pit on lap 15. a little bit of getting used to how this car drives here. It's kind of fun, though, once you get the hang of it. You just have to slow down so much more than you might think you need to. Which is often the case with this car. All right, Colton. That's good consistency. Especially with Homestead, how much banking there is. It's deceptive. But I think holding this bottom line is doing a pretty good job for us. I'm just going to keep doing it. I'm not too worried about what the 7's up to. He seems like he really knows what he's what he's doing. Seems pretty fast. And I bet he's still being good to the tires at the same time. So the iRacing fuel calculator says we're fine. Race Lab says we're not. I uh, I think I'm gonna believe the iRacing calculator. Remember a simul similar situation in the past where 87 cars. Race Lab kind of was weird about the fuel. I think the uh, ag, ag racing calculator calculator might be more accurate here. I'm gonna have to hope so. Because 57 would get us to the end. 1.8 gallons. 1.8 gallons needed saved would not. So we saved that amount, so.
That still feels good. I think two tires was a good call. Kind of just holding even with the uh, seven ahead of us. Haven't really been watching the one, but I don't think he's catching us or anything. That lap time was it's not too quickly. Can't feel too bad about this running P2. an okay long run? I don't know. I feel like I'm driving it real easy, but no experience here. I think we're pulling away from the guys behind. I'm not impressed by that six back there. He's not pit, but he has held on to P4. Ahead is increasing. It's now 0.8. It's pretty impressive. Not only that, but he's a second ahead of the guy. Uh, or wait, that's okay, no, that is him. <laughs> he's almost a second ahead of the guy behind him. Wilson is getting closer. The gap's now 0.8. We got pretty close to the wall up ahead. He's also pulled away from us a little bit, though. I think our pace has slowed down just a tiny bit. Be uh, worth keeping an eye on. Your last lap time was at thirty-seven point seven. So far, so good for this run. It's been much longer than the first ones. I hope I wasn't a huge factor in the cause of that initial wreck. I really want to look back at that and see. Because I was three wide. I don't know if I was the one that initiated it, initiated it or if it just kind of was where I ended up. But I was just running the bottom lane like I am right now. That was just how I planned on saving tires. And those guys were just overdriving the corner, I feel like, and drifting up the track. And I wasn't, I didn't want to just sit back and wait for them, you know? I, now it's tough. Like I said, I'll have to go look at it. Overdrove that, overdrove it. One's catching us. I'll just let him buy easy. Oh, I love these cars on old tires. Let him get by me uh, easy if he catches me, because he'll have caught me from a while back. No need to fight for that. In fact, he's coming up pretty quick. He must be really good at saving his tires. Have a good deal more speed at this point in the run. Not quite to halfway. What's our fuel saying? 49 laps? That'll do it, according to my racing's calculator. I'll get an update on my race lab calculator as well, just to see. Dante apologizing voraciously. Chat. 
one point one gallons. So, I guess even by race lab numbers, Appreciate it. we'll probably be good by the end, just because of how uh, much less throttle we're using at this point. I might have been entering too shallow. I'm gonna try taking a wider entry. Still letting the brakes kind of turn the car in. Maybe. Uh oh. Okay, that's not me. Bigger though. Oh my lordy. It's raving. Four on the floor. Okay, I think he's fine though. I really hope he doesn't blink out. That would suck so bad for him. I have just been there recently, and I know how much that really is a gut punch, so I hope he do that doesn't happen to him. That is the worst feeling. Especially because he's definitely the one to beat right now. Zero We're definitely going to be good on fuel. The guys that did not pit are really going to be hoping that we get a caution, though, I think. I'm not, I'm not so sure they're going to be good to the end. I got pretty loose. I don't want to do that too often. This is definitely a completely different experience from the start of this race. The start of this race was very chaotic, and now we've got some space. We're kind of just driving our cars nice and chill, managing tires. It's like two completely different experiences. Very soon, our next experience, though, is going to be letting the one by. It's pretty much here. Overdrove that. So he'll probably get me right now. Car inside. Keep high. Still inside. We're halfway Clear out. inside. Be about 38 laps. Oh, man. You've just done a 38.0. Follow him. Maybe we'll learn something. A little bit of draft, too. Never hurt anybody. I think this could really help us just following him. That lap time was 38.0. Show us how it's done. really don't feel like I've been terrible with the tires, I just I don't know if I'm approaching it correctly, so... Maybe that's all I needed. It was a bit of a guideline. One gallon estimated, 41 laps. We're still four laps to the good, or three, I think, maybe. Three or four laps to the good, according to that. That's terrible. Whatever I just tried to do there. Uh, 
paying attention enough to how I was taking the corner. Movement behind us for fourth. Saw some names swapping around. Good consistency. Keep them coming. We are falling off to the guys ahead, though. But I am doing much better than I thought I would, so I am not going to... I thought I was going to be lucky to be in the top 10. Be on the shortest step of the podium right now. Is very nice. As it lasts. I hope Nick and the other guys that didn't choose to pick can make it to the end on fuel. They didn't come in at all. Or wait, Nick did eventually, that's right. So he might actually have the fuel. He maybe even took tires. I'm not sure where he's running, actually. He's 10th. So he's not doing too bad. You've just done a 38.0. Can't wait to watch his uh, perspective of this race. See what was running through his mind with strategy and such. The captain, Wilson. Talking about a whole different race. From the start of this one to what we're doing now. It'll be a whole different race too. Because he's on a different strategy. A whole different viewpoint. My viewpoint right now, watching the two guys ahead drive away. Maybe that uh, 9 catches a little bit back there. I think the guy behind him might have been holding even. I think the 9 might be slowly inching forward. Kinda loose on exit now. Nothing too serious, but I have to be ready for it. Lap traffic up there. I see the 20, and then Spencer in the 13. He has the worst luck of just about anybody I've ever seen, I think. In the K5 Championship, the Dirt Series we're doing right now, he gets wrecked out okay, in, within like the first five laps of just about every race without fail, and it is just the most unfortunate thing. I feel bad every time it happens, and it just seems to keep happening, and then of course he's had trouble this race too. I think he was in that three wide or right behind it off the start where the uh, wreck initiated that I'm really hoping I didn't cause. There's a bug on our windshield. It's that the piece, my tiny friend. It's kind of getting in the way of me trying to see my... It's <laughs> my... Uh, my curse for ending his life. Or her, I don't know. I think we just got another one. Man, those Florida bugs are nasty, though. Get those flying roaches. Big ones. Everywhere. Probably what we hit. Here at Homestead. 
probably what's on our windshield right now. One point eight behind. Be pitting in here. The eight is catching up. Good luck. Good luck. <laughs> We got people that need to pit. Wonder if we'll get any cautions from guys trying to pull that off. Hope not. I hope this goes green to the end. I really do. Be very interesting to see how this plays out. I think it could play it well for us. Of course, because we don't need to stop again. getting looser. That one's about to go catch the seven. Feels like. I think he's getting closer. Okay, now that time it got tight exiting the car, so I don't know what to expect anymore. It's been loose every other time, that time it got tight. I guess I'll just listen to what, car, what the car's telling me and react to it. Eight's coming up pretty fast. He's done a great job saving tires, I believe. That lap time was 38.3. Oh my goodness, I just completely drove that really bad. It's really bad on the right front. Terrible corner. Back it down. You sir, it's getting closer. The gap's come down to 1.0 seconds. Kind of interested in seeing how far that guy can go, because he is going much, much faster right now. It's got a long way to go, but it's running some good laps, I think. Interesting to see if he can catch anybody else. He's definitely going to catch me, probably within the next three laps. Still in 10th, I think. It is here. Ryan's pretty close too. I think we're falling off pretty bad compared to the other guys. We got quite a quite a bit of race left to go too. Hopefully, I didn't do really bad things to the tires. I haven't felt like I've been going too hard. There's been a couple times where I overdrove it, I felt like, but maybe I needed to back down even more. got loose back there, it looks like. He maybe tried to cut under, get a run under me, and it did that to him. Too much race left to go for me to even try to fight it or anything. 
so I won't be doing that. Just let him get alongside me, and then I will let it happen without much of a fight. This is exactly what we need. Try to hit good laps before he gets here, though. See if I can delay it. I should always be trying to hit good laps anyway, though, right? Oh, he's going to take a higher line, I think. Try to get a run on me. Let's see how that works. I don't know. I don't know if that did work. Your last lap time was at 38.2. Apparently, I'm going to take the middle line for reasons unknown. <laughs> Holy <laughs> mackerel! My bad. Oh, they're racing up there for the lead now. It's been a few laps since I ran that line. What happened? Nineteen to go. That was a thirty-eight point two. We got loose on exit. Car inside. He'll get it here. Still there inside. Back off early. Clear. And file in. All right. Decent transaction. Hopefully, didn't lose too much time. Not get loose so much again. How far are we gonna fall before the end of this one? You know what I should do? Car adjustments. I just put this all the way back. No harm in doing that at this point. I don't think. About to find out. No, I think that's helpful. Spencer up there. Can we hold on to fourth? I don't know. He's within a second behind us now. Coming to 15 to go. Uh oh, I see smoke. Chad heading into the pits, I think. Sliding all the way there, too. Maybe. Oh, that doesn't sound good. Oh, overdrove it. Yikes, that was not a good corner at all. Very tough exit as well. That was a terrible corner. I gotta back it down more. I have had a terrible lap here. Uh, Spencer going to the inside, I guess. Car inside, clear. It's fine, he's backing out a lot. Let's uh, have a better lap this lap, how about that? And I need to if I want to keep the top five, because after the nine, the ten's right there as well. Nine's up in the in the wall. I was gonna say up in the high lane, but he's up in the wall. 
Makes me feel a little bit better. The gap to Newsom ahead is now 1.0. That lap was a 38.3. Hold on, do it. Our chances of top five went up. We just gotta avoid the same fate. Keep it out of the wall. Keep it without sliding. Okay, Colton. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Some guys that didn't pit earlier, I think, are having to come in. go here. He's 0.3 behind. Just watching that lap car get up into the wall up there. I drove it a bit. Okay, okay. That was the most sideways it's gotten yet. I slid that a lot. The tires are going to be hot coming into this next corner. Got to be careful. Taking a higher line, trying to get a run on me. Well, I have to try a higher line myself if I want to hold on to this. It might be time to actually fight these. No. Anytime the car wants to turn, that's cool. Whenever you feel like it. Clear inside. Inside. Clear inside. Inside. Just to take the high line here. Still there. All right, this guy's just gonna wreck us, I guess. Clear inside. Holy cow! Don't know how we survived that. Oh boy, there's Nick. Came out of nowhere. Seventeen. Fell off hard at the end, just a little bit too much. He's gonna be the one to take our top five away. Car inside. No turn Still left. At at Clear inside. Outside. You're in the middle. That's a terrible wide. place to stick your nose. Clear outside. Too wide. Stay high. I don't know how you would ever expect me to be able to Still there make, that, at the bottom. make that stick. Still there. He's got no turn left. Clear. P7. Those are terrible. Outside. Still there. It's pinching me so hard. You have a lot of room up there. Hold your line. Stay low. P8. Outside is clear. Yeah, it's second like lease, I mean. Car outside. Stay low. There is a car on the high side. How Still far there. are we going to fall? This is just completely falling apart for us at the end. Still there. Hold your line. That's the 
most crocodile hunter thing outside, I've heard all day. Clear. Car outside. Still there. Still there. Five. Five to go. Keep Keep low. Staying high. Doing a lot of focus to get this thing back safely. We're just not going to hold on to this spot, though. Clear He's home. gone. Well, it's going to be ninth, I think, unless something happens in front of us. Okay, Colton, the next car is Clapper. There's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. Oh, the nine way over driving. Is he going to keep that out of the wall? You'll need to take care of your tires. Need to take care of your tires. All right. I've been trying this whole time. Have I been succeeding at it? No. He knew that. Three to go. Your lap time was thirty-eight point four. The lap times are pretty consistent. Right a higher line there, it did not work though. Two more, let's go. Guy behind on fresh tires, he has nothing to race for though, so hopefully he just is nice to us and doesn't force anything. So we try to see if we can get anything here. I almost spun myself on, out on entry right there. Outside, clear. Hey, good rest, guys. We're getting it clean at the end. Car outside. Good win. Still there. Can we get him at the end here? Yeah, nice saddle there. It was a shame about that. Uh, oh, yellow flag. Ninth to the place. Line, but That's all right. We're going to have enough fuel doing it with that. Kick yellow flag and kick the path to go. Oh my gosh. Well, we fell Good apart. Job. Good job. <laughs> but I just ran out of fuel across It was a great race. I, I had to save that whole last half of the race. Whew. Definitely want to go look back at that first incident. Yeah, not work. Hopefully we didn't cause anything, but 47-46. I'm very surprised that my uh, tires were not worse. So P9, that's not bad at all. Estimated 14 I rating lost, but oh no, Dante 2873. Oh no. Oh wow, John on 80 lap tires too, better than us. That's embarrassing. <laughs> Just overdriving it. Nick with a great finish. I think he probably did a great job at saving tires. He usually does. But I'm out of fuel. Got the top five that we very much did not get. <laughs> Let's take a look at what happened. Probably the first thing that's going to happen is the thing that we were in.
Oh yeah, that, I don't think that was our fault at all. So we're just taking the low line, like I said, not trying to do anything. That's on the 17. He's putting it the middle three wide up there for no reason. And then gets loose and hits the 18. That's on the 17. Just being way too aggressive. And then the 18 comes down and gets us. And what happened behind uh, behind that? Anything? He's able to put it into the wall. Very well done there to keep the steering wheel pointed the right direction and keep it up in the wall. That's something I struggle at sometimes. Is being able to wreck correctly so I don't hurt myself or others anymore. Looking at this, the 21 gets loose and wrecks the 13. That's Spencer. So that's what happens to Spencer. I didn't see that happening ahead because yeah, I was involved in my own thing. Still, Just huh? kills him too. He's got the worst luck, Not man. Not sure what he's doing. So I'm glad it wasn't yeah, me. Sixteen uh, runs over the twenty. And let thirteen. That's your next wreck, I think. Yeah, I saw those first two and. So oh, that was Alex. The first two, and I was for sure there's gonna be another. Just catches him faster than I think he expected but to. It bit me. And uh, he pays for it as well. Hell, I was hoping for a caution after I got dumped, dumped on, on lap thirteen. I just wanted to run the high line the whole race, but the only thing that was going to stop me was having that caution with like 65 to go because he used a little bit more fuel during that high line. It's like, damn, I ain't going to be able to do it. Yeah, I, I was running the high line on lap 13, and the guy that dumped me that caused that 21. caution. 21. Um, yeah, he was a bit out of control this and race, he and he wrecks another person. Alan that time. That's way good sometimes. There was that big blink by the leader. I think they're more trying to run with their tail between their legs. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. Well, at least you guys got to make it more than one lap. Yeah, Spencer, I was thinking that when I was running you down there at the end, I was trying to make sure to drift up into you. Look at this guy wall riding. Yeah, my car was all fucked up from the 21. Oh, my, my whole front end, like, I could draft people and get to speed, but as soon as, like, I would get around anybody, it was like I was pushing That doesn't wall. belong here. My car's just screwed. Yeah, I hit the side basically uh, full speed, but I didn't take any tires because I was just trying to get uh, damage fixed. That doesn't surprise options, me. But we didn't get enough. Yeah, well, I'm taking some fuel, too, I think. I put tires on there. Struggling. Green because I was like, I, I need them. I can't drive this car anymore. 21. Nothing happened in there. Just some wall hits, I think. Here's the 21 causing another wreck, sliding up into the 12. Oh, it didn't turn into a wreck, though. Just uh, contact. Just see there, the 12 in the grass. Oh, that's Chad. He just gets a loose on entry, it looks like. I almost had a moment or two like that, after, especially after I put my brake bias back. And then the tire's really hot. This is probably one of the hardest cars to uh, catch after you slide. When the tires get hot like that, it's just almost undrivable for a second. He's just trying to get into the pits. Thankfully, no caution from that. He's able to get it going, and it's down on the apron there. Not what he wanted, though, for sure. 17 again, just gonna drive it along the wall. Thankfully, it doesn't work very well. It's embarrassing. Oh no, Chad having a time and a half trying to get that thing controlled. 17's not taking this seriously. Just driving into the wall. Nothing there. Moving along, I guess. 
Internet's not working too well. I thought we'd have contact or something there, but not quite. Because when guys were catching me, the nine gets into the wall a couple times. What did I do? Nothing, right? I don't remember ever hitting the wall or anything. Five going around me. Probably all my tires screaming out in pain is what's showing up in the incidents here. Three laps to go. Nothing really going on, I don't think. Probably not going to see anything to the end. Yep, that's it. So, we kind of fall apart at the end there, but still a decent finish. We finish ahead from where we started, and having no practice, can't feel too bad about that. Still get a top 10, and uh, almost had a top 5, but just tires couldn't quite hold on. I was a little bit too hard on them. And uh, we'll go ahead and look at the results page. Before I say so long for this one. All right, here we go. Should be peering right now. 35, 15, strength of field. Pretty good. Pretty strong field. You can see we'll lose about 13 I rating for our ninth place finish. Got 2x, but not going to affect our safety, safety rating in any way because we're maxed out right now. Nick, top five, has a great race. 130 championship points for us. And uh, you can see the winner was the number one. So he did indeed go up and take the lead and win the whole darn thing. So that'll do it for this one. Let's see the rest of the results there. Thank you for watching. I appreciate you. I will see you next time. And uh, whatever's next, hopefully a race I get to practice a little bit more for. So I don't know if it would have helped for this one. Anyway, see you there.